This is Tuna on Toast. In the 90s, what was it about the bands you signed that you liked? Songs. It's always songs. I, I need good songs, good melodies. It just so happened they were all good players. Really kind of weird. No use. Propaganda especially. Propaganda changed the whole sound. They they, they kind of defined the fabric of sound. Strung out, face-to-face. Yes. They're all great musicians. Yes. Good riddance? No, no, no. They were okay. But all the other bands, great players. Are there any bands that you thought, oh, I love these guys, and then you didn't get them, and they went on to something pretty big? <laughs> yes. Who? Uh, well, they didn't become big. But the Lillingtons. Oh, man. I fucked that up. Listen to the record, said nah. Next day, I realized how good it was, and they already signed. Oh, really? Yeah, but no, a lot of bands I didn't. If I would have signed Les and Jake before they went to a major, they yeah. probably wouldn't have been as big. Mm. You go to a major, you get big, and then you come to an indie and make m- the money. Right. So, because, you know, we didn't break anyone. Rise Against, they got big. R- Rise Against? And Against Me, and but we didn't break them. We just put out the first couple of records. But you laid the groundwork, and when somebody signs with your label, that is instant credibility, not Th- only for thanks. the band, but it creates like something like you become very curious if you're a music fan. Well, if Fat Mike likes them. I got to give them at least 20 minutes of my time to see what they're all about. That's why labels are still important. Okay. We're still relevant because we're tastemakers, kind of. Like you can trust exactly what you said. Thank you for saying that. You're welcome. But if you hear a band on Fat Records, you know you're going to get some uh, quali- level of quality. Uh, I'm doing a new label now, by the way. Why? And what's it called? Why? Because uh, me and my ex, Aaron, you've been doing Fat Records yes. for I don't know, 30 years or something. And it's a punk label, pretty much. And so I'm doing a label that's not so punk. Hold on a minute. Hold on. You're going to sign bands from other genres. Yeah, but it's more like cool. I'm just signing songs. Uh, songs I really like. So it's more of a song label. Okay. And is there a certain genre that you're leaning to? No. So if you hear someone that creates a great song in their bedroom or wherever it is, you're going to be like, okay, maybe let's check this out. See if we can do something. Yeah. We're, we're doing 10 inch records and, and just songs. It's just easier. You know, and if you deal with records and band and recording a whole record and marketing, we're just going to have, it's going to be a great song label. Hopefully. Hope you enjoyed. Now hit that subscribe button. And for more Tuna on Toast, listen wherever you get your podcasts.